Here we go with fifth grade Excel lesson number 44, computing one half to one ninth of a group of items. Bill has six books. He wants to give one third of them to his brother. How many books will he give to his brother? Well, here's a drawing of it. Here are the six books. And if we split these books into thirds, that means it has to be three pieces. There's my three pieces, and in each piece, I have two books. So if he gives one third to his brother, he's going to give two books. If he was to give two thirds, he would give two and two, he would give four. All three thirds are going to be six altogether. So you can see in each third, there are two books. All right, to, to find the answer to this question, you will have to divide six into three equal groups. Six divided by three, six books divided into my three groups. So two is equal to one third of six. Notice where the three came from. If I want to find one third of six, I simply do six divided by three, because then I'm finding a third of it. If I want to do one eighth of 10, no, I can't do that, one eighth of 16, then I'm going to do 16 divided by eight. Take this number and divide it into the larger number right there, all right? Just simple division problems. You just got to know how to do them. Answer each of the problems by drawing pictures. Twelve children are playing. One-fourth of them are boys. How many boys are playing? So they drew a picture of a bunch of kids. You don't have to have pictures that are that detailed, of course. And then if, if there's a fourth of them playing, we have to put these kids into four, uh, four different groups. So we got one, two, three, four groups. And one-fourth would be this part right here, one out of the four groups. There's going to be three in that group. So we do three boys, because three, six, nine, twelve, twelve children playing all together. Let's try number two together. Jody baked twelve pies. She gave one sixth of them away. So let's draw the twelve pies first. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do that on your paper. If I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video. And then she gave one sixth of them away. So that means we have to divide these into six parts. So we are going to have two in each one, right? Four, five, six. Twelve divided by six is two. And so by giving one sixth away, she gives away those two pies, and the answer is two pies. All right, if, again, if I went too fast for you, just pause the video. You can copy that down and start it up when you're ready to keep moving. We have been figuring out one half of a group by dividing by two. We can compute one third of a group by dividing by three. What would we divide by to compute one fourth of a group? Put that answer right here in the blank, pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. Well, to find a fourth of a group, you would divide by four. Hopefully you got that right. For the following problems, draw pictures if you need them to find the answer. Now let's try to do it without drawing pictures. Let's just do division problems. I think you guys have this. She only has 24 horses. Some of them are gray. How many gray horses does she have if half of them are gray? 24. If half of them are gray, we're dividing by two. 24 divided by two is 12. What about if a fourth of them are gray? That means 24 divided by 4. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. Six of them would be gray. Pause the video, try 5 and 6. Turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, so what you should have done for number 5, if one-sixth of them are gray, remember we're dividing by the, the uh, divisor here, by the um, denominator, excuse me. So you're doing 24 divided by 6, and 24 divided by 6 is 4. So 4 of them are gray if 1 6 of them are gray. And then the last one, of course, you're going to divide by 8. So 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. All right, here are some problems uh, where you can just do the division. Uh, and they're showing you how to do this, that what is 1 3rd of 51? Remember, 1 3rd means we're going to draw divide by 3, so they did 51 divided by 3, got 17, and there's the answer right there. Go ahead and pause the video, do number 8, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. 1 6th of 438, so 1 6th means we're dividing by 6. They were real nice to you, they showed you there that you are dividing by 6. 6 goes into 43 7 times, 6 times 7 is 42, 43 minus 42 is 1, bring down the 8, 18 divided by 6 is 3, so the answer is 73. We don't have an answer blank down there. Well, there, I just made one. All right, thanks for watching.